think there are some, some very simple principles around there that I want to try and talk about today. The, the, the first one about being really clear on what's most important and, and focusing on what is most important. It, it, it amazes me how, how often people don't actually have clarity about what they're trying to achieve. And in fact, how many businesses talk about how complex everything is and how difficult things are, and they use complexity as an excuse for a lack of clarity. Uh, and actually, if we're not clear on what it is we're trying to achieve, then you know, how, are, how are we spending, how are people in your businesses, how, how are they spending their time? Uh, and having the, the clarity of what's most important so we can then make sure the stuff we're doing is taking us in the direction we want to go is, is, I think, pretty critical. The second principle is around focusing on performance so that we can get results. Now, I think most of us, when we talk about, very often we use the words results and performance to mean the same thing. From a sports perspective, they're different. For those of you who watch any sport, on TV, when you see people interviewed after a game, a race, a match, a competition, normally people don't spend too much time talking about the result, because we know that, we saw that. Generally, they talk about how they performed. What was it they did or didn't do that led to the result they got, whether it was the result they wanted or not. Generally, they'll talk about how they performed that led to the result. And separating the two things out, performance and results being different. Uh, and that's absolutely something I'm going to be doing this afternoon. When I talk about um, performance, I don't mean results. I mean performance, what are we doing? How well are we doing? How can we improve what we're doing to help us get the results? So I want to talk about, a bit about that. And, and I think those two concepts are pretty simple and obvious. I mean, clearly we should have clarity of what we're doing. Clearly we should try and do the stuff better so we've got a better chance of getting results. But actually, it's really hard to do. It's very, very simple concepts, but really hard to do. Uh, and I think one of the things that makes it easier to do is actually getting the right help and support from the people around us. So how do we actually work effectively together so we can do the simple stuff we should do? The 16 of us who were there on the training camp had got together as a group and had a conversation about specifically what are we trying to achieve by doing the session. Uh, and that's not just 20 kilometers resistance training, no. That's just what the session was. What do we want to achieve by doing that session? And therefore, what are the two or three or four things we had to change in order to get where we wanted? And then we just had to go out, no matter what the environment, no matter what the conditions, we just had to go out there and make it happen. We had to make the changes happen. And, and we'd been really hard on each other about, and ourselves about, about making the changes. Gandhi had the saying, be the change you want to see in the world. If we wanted to think things to be different, we, we had to be different. Uh, and whether that was how I put my oar in the water, how I communicated with certain people, the mindset I had when I approached certain tasks, it, 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 it had to come down to us as a group of individuals to actually make stuff happen. The goal we had was incredibly clear. It was incredibly clear. We were desperate, absolutely desperate to win. Uh, and if you had have asked me at any time in my rowing career what the goal was, I would have given you the same answer. It was about winning. But we couldn't actually control whether we won or not, because we had no control over how fast the Americans, the Russians, the Germans, the Dutch, or anyone else was going to go. All we could do was control how fast our boat went. That's the only thing we could control. So, so we started asking this question, will, will it make the boat go faster? Uh, and the idea was to challenge every single thing we did as to whether it was taking us in the direction we wanted to go in. Really, what is most important? Am I going to make a decision based on friendship, or am I going to make a decision based on, on, on boat speed? Am I going to make a decision based on maintaining the status quo and keeping everyone kind of comfortable and happy with where they are? Or, or are we going to make a decision based on boat speed? Am I going to make a decision based on, on me being right and you being wrong? Because being right is good, but being fast is, is better. Really, what were we making decisions based on? How I felt today or how fast we went at the Olympics? And we kept coming back to really what is most important. The kind of appropriate compromise. So often there's a temptation to meet in the middle so we'll both be a bit happy. We thought that kind of compromise is unacceptable. The kind of compromise we would have to make was if you had an idea and I had an idea, and people think your idea is better than mine, then the compromise I have to make is to give up my idea and follow you with everything I've got. I mean, I could agree with you and then try and undermine you, and I could keep bringing my idea up as often as I can, and, uh, and then we all lose. So, so some compromises we had to make, and some were unacceptable, let's work out which is which. There's a difference between the two things. There's a difference between results and performance. And as soon as we got a result, we put the things back together, which was clearly the wrong answer, and we had to keep them separate. They knew we were the youngest crew in the final. We were the, 
weakest, physically the weakest crew in the final and the least experienced crew in the final, including our coach. I was the only person who had been to the Olympics before and having come last in one final and not made another final, we didn't, we didn't want my experience. Yet none of us had done it before. But it didn't mean we couldn't. And what we'd been absolutely convinced of was if we followed some really, really simple principles. If we had... If we made sure we had absolute clarity on what it was we were trying to do, and we were ruthlessly challenging what we were doing to make sure it was aligned to that. If we made sure that from, from every single session we were clear about how we, we were performing so we could perform marginally better, and we could just keep learning and improving, then we would get faster and faster and faster. And the only way we were going to do it, the only way we were going to do it was by supporting and helping each other. There's so many things that we can do that are aligned to clear goals we've got, that we choose not to for various reasons. We make it harder to do it rather than harder not to do it. Where we just do things the same way we've done it over and over again rather than really trying to see how well we can do it on that particular occasion. This, from, I mean, uh, Kath, uh, Harriet and uh, Steve are going to talk about different kind of bits of high performance in a bit. From my view, kind of the overview, this is it, kind of simple, straightforward stuff. But it's about making it harder not to do. It's about putting yourself in a position where it's easier to do the stuff you should be doing. It's easier to do it as well as you can than being in an environment where it's really hard to do. For us training, we spend a lot of time trying to work on an environment where it was easy to continue to review performance, even after we'd won, where there was no need. It was just kind of easy to do because we, it's what we did it the whole time. And so from my perspective, the three simple things I spoke about how can you get yourself in an environment, get yourself in a situation where it's easier and easier to do those things rather than it being harder?